All right. Thank you very much for this uh, introduction. Um, I would like you uh, to pull out your mobile or laptop. You're free. You're freely to use it during my presentation, and um, um, we're going to do this um, more interactively. So I would like you to go to uh, Slido.com and fill in um, 4625, and we're going to see what we all think about business transformation. So who of you is involved in transforming the business? Say about half. Who calls himself uh, an, an IT architect? Quarter of them. Uh, a business architect? That's another quarter. And I guess the rest is managing the change or seeing how it is managed. So one statement on, um, on business design, if you if you do want to tweet about Biz Design, and this is about it, Biz Design is a software company that supports organizations in designing and executing change. And we have a booth here, and moreover, um, we're highly ranked by, uh, by Gartner also in the upcoming Magic Quadrant. So, we're going to talk to you about um, digital change. We've asked participants in total, uh, more than 500. Um, what um, innovation and trends become more important in the upcoming years? And we see trends here that we haven't known um, like 10 years back, like big data uh, analytics or IT for IT, to, to name one, or machine learning, or by mobile change, or what have you. So there are a lot of trends which are inflicting on organizations to change or to become more adaptive. In fact, organizations are under pressure to become more adaptive to change. So to understand this better, we did some interesting research and we did that together with the Open Group, um, the Association of Enterprise Architects, the University of Twente, uh, the Dutch Architecture Platform, uh, BP Trends, an American organization, and, uh, and Biz Design. We thank these organizations for helping with this um, uh, survey. And the response is great. We're currently close to 600 people that have reacted to it, and we'll keep this survey open a couple of weeks. So if you do feel um, the interest to respond, then you'll be able to. So, we're going to make it a little bit more interactive now. Um, I asked you to go to Slido. Has anybody got any questions on this, on how this works? Because Mark knows exactly how it works and he'll, he'll explain this. So you go to slido.com, fill in 4625, and um, you'll get a couple of statements which I'll uh, explain on the slides. And you can either disagree, which means you, can, you hit just one star, or you strongly agree, or halfway agree. So if you add more stars, you agree even more. So are you ready? All right, let's go. So please take your positions. My company has the capabilities to deal with the upcoming trends of digitization. So. If you agree your organization has these capabilities, fill in five stars. If you don't agree, fill in one star. Let's go. All right, let's see what we've done. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Full screen. All right, so we did it. So my company has the capabilities to deal with the upcoming digitization trends. We see about um, um, half that, uh, that agree, half that disagree. So I guess there's a lot of um, uncertainty, uncertainty or perhaps a little bit of fear on this digitization that is coming upon us, this digital force that's coming upon us. So. Is this really this digital bull that is getting fear into you? Or perhaps are you just waiting 
for this bull to pass by. Let's check some more. Another question. Uh, it is better to change your organization or the organization in many small steps than in a few large or very large steps. So if you agree it should be step by step, give high stars. If you don't agree, then give one star. Big Bang is one star, five stars is step by step. Let's go. So let's have a look. All right, so we strongly agree in the fact that organizations should change in small steps. Well, we've heard the previous uh, speaker also talk about uh, 20,000 small steps to transform your business. Not sure if every business wants to transform with 20,000 steps per day, but at least we agree we should do it in small steps. All right. Because it's like learning something new. And if you're at an older age and you want to learn to swim, you look like this. And wouldn't we all want to be like learning it step by step and becoming digital native in this way? So let's, let's take another question. Software is essential to empower business change. Do we agree that software is essential to empower business change? Let's go. There's only three questions, so I think now you've known this, you have this tune in your head, so every time you hear this tune, you think, oh, I gotta answer a question, but no, don't worry. Um, let's see what it does. Yeah, so the um, position is as such that we do agree that software is essential to business change. So let's see in the survey what type of techniques business transformation use to do this and how well software really supports it and what the, the respondents expected or expect of software and how it should and how it should evolve of course some graphs with that as well if you're about to jump over a bar and you wouldn't use tools then i think about um something like eight feet would be the maximum currently and if you do if you do use tools you can raise the bar and it will become uh, a little bit more difficult, uh, but the achievements will be a lot higher. Okay. So let's go to the, uh, the survey on the, um, and present some of the, of the results on that. So one of the things that is important to see is that the lifetime of organizations is shortening. You see here, on the, on the left hand side, 1960, and on the, on the other side, what is also predicted, the lifetime of organizations is shortening. And so it's very important to understand why the lifetime of organizations is shortening. Um, in fact, not being able to change is the important one. And so, as Darwin stated as well, it is not the strongest organization that will survive, or the smartest one, but the one most able to adapt to change. <coughs> so you must become more adaptive. And looking at the drivers that we have identified, a big driver for change today is of course digitization. And on this slide there are some extreme examples of digitization with, for example, Uber, the biggest taxi firm on the globe which doesn't own a taxi at all or Facebook, the biggest platform for content, but they're not owning any content at all. And of course, these are the typical examples that we always see, but also within your area, digitization is big. Governments are um, digitizing. Um, FinTech, so financial technology firms, are disrupting the financial and the insurance sector. Omni-channel strategies come in place where customers are being served 24 hour time anywhere any place and so the question is also should organizations digitize their change capabilities the software that they use to change so what we often see is that in organizations 
transformation projects are the more classic ones. They set a goal and they want to get there fast and in one big step. Usually, the reason for wanting to change fast is that organizations have lagged in the changes that they should have put through in the past. And so we advocate that it is better to go for continuous change, change step by step. That is not only for the, for the IT space, but that is for the enterprise as a whole. And small steps is not the same as minor steps. Multiple small steps will bring in strategic change to the organization. So there are many challenges um, that adaptive enterprises face. They need to become better in many areas. They need to foster growth and innovation, speed of change, but also keep the lights on. They need to collaborate on change. It is not a top-down change anymore. It is an organization, an adaptive enterprise, which changes as a whole. And there's loads of data available, both outside and inside the organization, where you collaborate. So you need to change the way you make decisions. And more importantly, incorporate change as a way of life. And what we also see is that the way that software is supporting business transformation is changing. Where in the past, software tools were used in more separate or disparate ways in certain programs or projects, what we currently see is that multiple disciplines use software tools in their business transformation and they collaborate through a platform. And the future will be that these disciplines on for example, portfolio management, strategic communication, enterprise architecture, portfolio management, they will collaborate through a platform and this platform will be there to design the change and to execute the change. So what do organizations do? How do they deal with the great challenges um, that they face while transforming into a digital enterprise? We can dive in a little bit deeper now. So, as I said, we had close to 600 respondents, of which more than 10% were C-level, so I think it's quite representative on how an organization uh, looks at these questions. And so, um, we distinguished uh, 12 themes to choose from as top drivers, but still C-level and practitioners agreed on the top three. On, um, drivers for, for change. That is, um, changing the business model, like how an organization earns its revenue, uh, and becoming digital. Those two are important at C-level and at, and at practitioner's level. And C-level sees strategic events, like for example, a merger or a divesture, as an important part to transform, where practitioners see cost cutting as their third uh, biggest driver for change. So becoming digital and changing the business model are the top drivers for business transformation. And of course there are inhibitors. What keeps them from being able to successfully transform? Well, I don't think it's very new to say that business as usual keeps companies from changing. It even keeps people from changing. Nobody wants to change. And that you also see in the other parts, like uh, for many organizations, it is quite hard uh, to have design in view on the like, strategic options to change, the uh, business model, or the way to transform. And finally, lack of organizational commitment. There's a, a lack of uh, commitment or a lack of insight on why to change and people are still like, uh, they, they don't want to change, so they need to be helped to change. So these are the biggest inhibitors for business transformation. So there's a lot of difficulties that organizations face when it comes to business transformation. And we've asked 
uh, the, de uh, the, the delegates in the, in the survey uh, with uh, techniques that they use or techniques that which they say you shouldn't use on how to deal with uh, this type of business transformation. And you see, you see, a, whole, you see a whole load of uh, techniques that these delegates suggest by modal, by modal strategy, um, not using red tape, being able to, to change fast and at a higher frequency, etc. So this is what the participants come up with. And so what are the relevant techniques or disciplines for managing business transformation? In red, you see how sea level reacts, and in blue, you see how practitioners react. And in fact, they, um, they are quite aligned in the top three. They think business architecture Capability-based planning and strategy mapping are relevant techniques for managing business transformation. But also the other ones uh, that have been suggested uh, as enterprise architecture, we're all here for that, I would say, uh, portfolio management and business case analysis. You see at those that, like uh, C-Level, uh, looks at it a, a little bit more from a financial side or from a strategic side, but both C-Level and practitioners agree on the techniques that should be used for business transformation. In previous presentations, we've heard about um, selling the business case for uh, ent enterprise architecture or selling the business case for portfolio management. Apparently, C-Level sees these techniques as vital, but you should move and change. So, most of these disciplines they also use software uh, in, their, uh, in their business transformation. And in fact, more than 80% of the organizations use software to support the business transformation. So software is important and it's essential to learn about the current performance uh, of software within organizations and how, it can, and how it can improve. And what you see in this graph is that for the left side, so the um, application integration, um, uh, information integration and portfolio management, that 60% uh, of the respondents are very happy or fairly happy with these tools. Um, tools uh, to support business process management or tools to support enterprise architecture <coughs> or business model design um, need more uh, emphasis, need more research, need to improve. And so looking towards the future, from this diagram we can conclude that software will become more and more important in business transformation. And more than 70% of all the participants uh, state that for all the disciplines, they expect that software will become important or even very important uh, to become successful in their business transformation. And of course there are also disciplines where software is not as important. Um, I would say the more soft uh, disciplines like leadership, cultural change, or strategy development. The funny thing is, still the majority expects that software will become very important in these disciplines as well. And that it will be in communication, in collaboration, and in decision making. So, software will become important in every level of the organization to help them transform into a digital enterprise. So let's, let's sum them up. Let's, uh, let's sum it into three, to three messages that we can use and that you can take home. First of all, you need to embrace change. Digital change is the new normal. We, cannot, we will not be able to go back. We can only move forward. And you're under pressure of it. Um, you need to be able to grow fast, innovate fast, and do it cyclically. Small steps, iterate, iterate, iterate. Exactly what we just heard also in the IT for IT uh, domain. Take small steps, um, keep speed, but also control. And very, and very important, you need to change the way you change and make decisions. So the platforms, the software platforms that will be coming, where disciplines on uh, strategy design, business architecture, portfolio management, etc., can work together 
on one platform and use the data from outside and inside to make these changes. You have to become adaptable to change. And continuous change. Um, people are the key factor. There, there is no 100% digital company. Digital companies are also built by people. So we need to enable and empower the people and bridge the different disciplines which I've mentioned a couple of times. And support in tools the information sharing, communication and collaboration. And that says it. The platform will bring together the people and will help them communicate in a standard way. So how about the, um, the techniques? Well, there's a wide range of techniques that are being used for um, mapping out business transformation. And uh, the current tools perform fairly well, but respondents make very clear that improvements need to be made on strategy mapping even enterprise architecture and the way it collaborates. So it's important uh, to work on or to start using integrated software in the upcoming years for collaboration, for communication, for bridging these, these disciplines and for making decisions smarter. So digitize your change capability. So the top three disciplines where software support is expected to become important or crucial is business transformation, communication, and decision making. And I would say this offers opportunity for the open group to foster its standardization, as was done in TOGAF, IT for IT, Archimate, and the upcoming uh, projects that are running on business architecture. There is a lot to do on being able to standardize. So with that, I would like to conclude. The, um, the survey itself will be published as a, as a white paper and as an article for both the Open Group and the Association of um, Enterprise Architects. Uh, if you want to get an infographic summary of this survey, then you can either go to this uh, tiny URL or send an email to uh, info at uh, Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Henry. <coughs> you could uh, take a seat. We have a, a few questions for you, I believe. Leave your multiple devices to one side. Um, and asking the questions from the audience, we have Jim Hytella, I know you know, um, Open Group VP of Security and Business Development. Jim. So we have a couple of questions, Henry. Uh, first one, what are the major barriers or impediments that you see to business transformation as we move towards digital businesses? Yeah, well, the, the, um, the thing that I um, mentioned in the presentation are, in fact, the summary conclusions that come out of all the, uh, all the respondents. And, in fact, I have one slide showing the inhibitors to business transformation, and they're quite classical, I would say. Um, uh, keeping the business going is a very important inhibitor to implementing or executing change. And also, being able to collaborate within an organization on change and, be, and, and knowing the strategic intent, knowing uh, what the business is about and knowing how to change is an important inhibitor. So both keeping the light on and on the other hand having a transformational approach which enables collaboration. Those two are, in, are the important inhibitors. Okay. Uh, and so next, how do you ensure that multiple small changes don't step on each other and have a negative effect on the business? Yeah, that's a very good question. Thank you. Um, the, um, the change that you run within your organization um, can either be uh, segmented on the way that you approach customers or the way that you um, change uh, uh, business processes. But what is very important, and that will help also in uh, the things that the respondents ask for, if you have a collaborative platform which gives clear side on the strategic intent of the change and also prepares the change as well, you can design the change before you implement it. And with this platform, you can collaborate on preventing to stumble upon uh, each other and having 
a clear picture on uh, how to change or what to change and how to change. Okay. One more if I may, Henry. Um, we heard from Gunnar earlier that, that there's more to DevOps than, um, than just tools. There's the people and the processes and you've a lot's been said about software, but you also stressed the people are really important too. Does the survey show anything or, or does your experience show anything about how you, tips you might use or an approach you might take to get people to embrace change or to start to um, get yeah. their minds ready for it? Because as we yeah. all know, some of us are more yeah. open to it than others. It, it, I think that really depends, thank you for the question, that really depends on where you are in the organization. What you see in general is that uh, I would say the majority of people don't like change. They like the way things go uh, better than changing. But on the other hand, if you see the opportunities that it offers to the organization or the opportunity that it offers to your career or the opportunity that it offers in terms of earning more money, um, that really helps. And also if organizations are able to show um, uh, the effect of change on the organization and on people. So if leadership uh, takes responsibility and shows the benefits for the organization and employees, you'll get a positive movement. But you really have to show the why and what it delivers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lead them through it. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Well, that's, uh, that's it for the morning session. Please, uh, a big round of applause for uh, Henry Franklin.